We don't use antifreeze to winterize our RV. This is how we do it. We've used the process I'm about to show you on two different RVs of ours, but before you do this, quick disclaimer, make sure you read your manual and understand your plumbing system before you try to winterize without antifreeze. We winterize our RV by using compressed air to blow the water out of the lines. In order to do this, we need an air compressor and a blowout valve with the right fitting for the air hose that we have. The first step is to drain all of the water in your fresh gray and black tanks. So to do this for the fresh water, you're gonna to wanna to find your low point valve. This is different in every RV, but ours happens to be here. Just open that valve and water starts to drain out of your fresh water tank. A quick hack. If you have a relatively full water tank, what you can do is turn your water pump on and just turn the faucet on. This helps empty it much quicker, plus it helps flush out your gray water tank. Regardless of whether you have a tankless water heater or a water heater with a tank, there is going to be water in it. You need to drain that water out of the water heater. So to do that, find the low point drain on your water heater. Ours happens to be down here. Open that valve and just let everything out. And once this is empty, close the valve. Once your fresh water tank has stopped draining, you're gonna to wanna to turn on the cold water valve and then turn on your water pump. You should hear the water pump running and then what you're doing is flushing out the rest of the water in the line. Once you stop seeing a lot of water coming out, switch over to the hot water and do the same thing. And I like to just go back and forth a couple times. Next step, go to your bathroom or any other faucet or water fixtures that you have and open the valves on all of them with the water pump on. One thing to note during this process is you do not want to run your water pump too long without water in the system, otherwise it can overheat. On all of these, just remember to cycle back and forth between hot and cold water. After you've drained and run all the faucets, Go to your water pump and look for the water filter that is on there. You're gonna to wanna to remove this and take out any water in there. It simply twists off. And as you can see, it is full of water with that little screen. This is also a good time to clean the screen on your water filter. Once that's done, reinstall your water filter. Now it's time for the fun part, blowing out the water lines. Set your RV or find the valve to switch to city water. For ours, it's in the back. We just switch over to city water. And what this means is when you plug water into the inlet for your RV, it's feeding directly into the fixtures, not filling your water tank. Every RV is different. Some have different uh, inlets for the water. Others have valves, just make sure you understand how to switch yours over or set it to city water. Install your blowout valve in your water inlet. Attach your air compressor line. Open the valve on one of your sinks. Now before you start blowing air into your system, ensure that that valve is open or one valve in your RV is open and then give this little burst of air. If you notice pressure building up, stop, undo it, go back through the system because something is closed or it's not letting the air through the system. What you do not want to do is put a lot of compressed air into your water line and blow your water line. And it helps if you have someone who can go in the RV, watch the fixture and tell you whether air or water are coming out of it. And what you want to do is blow the air through the system until you no longer see water coming out of both the hot and cold sides. Mm -hmm. 
Once the water line is cleared, move on to your next fixture. If you happen to have an RV style toilet, open the valve on that and press this. Sometimes if I'm all alone, I'll have to go inside with this and watch it myself, but it's always helpful to have a second pair of hands. So now the process is pretty much complete. I like to do another walk around, double check the filter on the water pump to make sure no residual water has come through, run the water pump again, and just reopen all the low point valves to get any extra water out. Once that's done, I'll take the van for a drive, try to find some hills in that so that any residual water sitting at the bottom of those tanks has a chance to drain out. Now, for those of you who might have a P-trap or something like that in your camper van plumbing system, pour a little bit of antifreeze down your drains and that'll help protect any freezing there. So why don't we use antifreeze? Well, the reason is, is because we don't like to put those chemicals through our fresh water system. Yes, it says it is non-toxic, but if you've ever had it in your RV water system before, you know it takes quite a while for the color and the taste of that antifreeze to get out of your fresh water system, and we simply don't want it. So we put in a little bit of extra effort to winterize without using antifreeze. So fall is here, winter is coming, but when do we winterize? Well, Kate and I winterize when we are gonna have the van parked in an area where it is cold and below freezing for an extended amount of time. If we are going to be in the camper and it's going to be below freezing, but we're gonna be in there running the heat and things, we won't winterize. Now, our last camper, we had down to negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit, and we knew it was gonna be that cold, so we decided, even though we were running the heat, we were gonna winterize to protect our lines because we didn't know if our heater could keep up. Now let's pretend for a second that it's springtime and all of these yellow leaves are turning green and it's gonna be warm and camping season's on its way again. How do you get this full of water again? Well, it's simple. Fill up your fresh water tank, open a few valves, turn your water pump on, and let that water pump blow the water through the system. So how do you winterize your RV? Do you use antifreeze? the blowout method, or another way that I just don't know about. I'd love to know in the comments below, but that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and found it useful, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanna see more tips and tricks for RV living, head on over to our website at werethrussos.com and we'll see you next time. Bye. My second book, Tales from the Open Road, The Adventures and Misadventures of RV Living, is now available for sale on Amazon. Read all about the ups and downs of our first year and a half living on the road full time.